Hi everyone, my name's Alice. I'm a second year student here at UE Bristol and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about well-being. So get your cup of tea or your coffee ready because this is actually quite an important topic. It was recently Mental Health Awareness Week so I thought what better time to speak about well-being because I think it is something that some people are a bit reluctant to speak about because it is a bit of a sensitive topic, um, a bit personal. I'm going to be speaking about um, my personal well-being story here at UE Bristol and what services are available. So personally I'm quite a shy person, I'm not really the type of person to go up to somebody first and introduce myself so when I was first coming to uni I was a little bit worried about making friends and connecting with people. My well-being challenge I have overcome is connecting with people and making friends here at university. I think one of the biggest things that people talk about at university is making friends, the social life, meeting your best friend at university and for me personally I was quite worried about that because I'm not the type of person to go up to somebody and introduce myself. Um, like I said I am quite shy and yeah basically I was worried about connecting with people. So at first, um, in first year, I was a little bit reserved I'd like to say. Um, I probably didn't get involved with as much as I should have done but around halfway through first year I decided it was time to actually come out of my shell a bit and make some friends. So the first thing that made me realise I needed to make more friends and make more effort and just have more confidence was saying yes to more things and I know that sounds silly but it's true. One of my course mates or my flatmates said to me hey do you want to go and grab a coffee um, in our break? I probably would have shied away from it whereas I just started saying yes to things like that. I started saying yes to coffee, I started saying yes to lunch, I started saying yes to nights out and that provided me with a whole world of new opportunities to make friends. You won't believe how many people are actually in the same boat as you. Um, a lot of people are also quite shy and I think that can really help people connect because you've got that in common and you understand where each other are coming from. The thing I did was speak to my lecturers. Um, I'd always go up after a lecture or a tutorial and ask any questions and um, then you sort of start to form a um, good type of working relationship with your lecturers. They know you and you know them and um, connecting with your lecturers actually helps you to stay more motivated with the course. They understand how hard you're working and what you're feeling and they can help you accordingly with that. For me there was quite a lot of group work and presentations in first year and that really made me not want to go in because I was like oh my gosh I'm going to have to speak to people. Um, and it gives you a bit of peace knowing that they know where you're coming from so it is really good to just speak to your lecturers. Also being at university you're likely going to be um, in Bristol for the first time if you don't live here already so another thing that I started doing was actually exploring Bristol and taking advantage of the opportunities it really helped me to make even more connections that way because you make friends through friends. I was lucky to overcome my shyness really on my own but UE Bristol are amazing and they offer some really really good support if you are unable to do things on your own and maybe you need a helping hand. UE actually offer um, a range of services if you're struggling whether that be with your confidence or anything university related, life related, money related, absolutely anything. So UE offer Resilient U workshops which help you grow your confidence at uni and help you to take advantage of all of the challenges that come your way and teach you the best way to deal with them. So that's a really good option if you feel you need um, some guidance in that. UE Bristol also offers students access to Cooth Student which is an anonymous chat online if you feel you need to speak to someone but don't necessarily want to do that over the phone or in person so that's another way you can overcome some of your struggles. UE Bristol also do offer counselling services as well and you can speak to somebody in person on the phone 
through email so there really are so many options for you if you are struggling and if you're worried about coming to university um, please don't be there are so many things to help you um, if you feel you may struggle thank you so much for watching this video I really hope it helps somebody out there and like I said there is always somebody to help here thank you for watching again and hopefully I'll see you soon bye